I'm Terry Rosamond and I'm training to run the world's largest GPS drawing out of a cock and balls in a single continuous effort and raise £5,000 for Movember. How big you ask? A 75 mile manhood masterpiece. In this vlog I'm going to be sharing my training journey as I aim to shred the dad bod and take on the greatest endurance challenge of my life. Good morning and welcome to week two of my training. Up early this morning, just before six, so I jumped straight on the weighing scales to sort of see where I'm at and I'm weighing in at 96.4 kilograms which is just under two kilogram lost from last week. Now that may sound a bit drastic but um, I think that's a lot of water retention that has been gone because it's I've gone from sort of no training, eating a bit shit, to now sort of training. And it's mostly been lost through diet at the moment. I didn't train too much, although I did do a bit of a, a long distance run on Saturday uh, just to test the legs. So it's been mostly through diet, just putting myself in a sort of calorie deficit of only about 500 calories, um, a ca 500 calorie deficit per day, not 500 calories a day, that'd be insane. So here we are on session one, Monday of week two, starting off with a strength session on the legs and we're going to be working up to our 60% one rep max on the squats um, and obviously that was taken from last week where we did test week to work out what my theoretical one rep max was which you can watch here if you click the one of the corners up there and you can watch that video if you want but let's not waste time let's get on it and let's smash them out I might add before we get into this that I'm really actually looking forward to actually doing the training obviously last week was well, test week I, I actually just can't wait to start moving forward on this tro uh, on this training program starting to make progress trying to see get myself getting fitter and stronger and actually f start to improve the confidence about taking on this challenge because as we concluded last week in test week I am in the worst possible shape that I have been for a number of years now so this challenge is not it's not a light touch this is going to push me to my absolute limit which is all the more reason why you should be donating to my course by clicking the link down below right let's get on with it Going to quits on that one. Feeling a little tight twinge in the old glute. So that's the first session done. Felt really strong on the squats. Worked up to 40% of my weight rep max, which was 48 kilos. Busted out uh, four sets and felt really strong. Felt really good, felt the stretch. Make sure, I made sure I was getting deep, felt the stretch in the muscle, that was great, no problems. Reverse lunges on the other hand, you know, I haven't done these exercises in a long time. These are fresh for my muscles. So the, my glute, my big ass cheek, my right ass cheek started to flare up a bit. bit it felt a bit spasmy, a bit tense, slight pain. So I was like, right, let's stop it there, snip it in the bud. Um, I don't want to pick up an injury this early on in the training uh, program. I've got 12 weeks to make progress, so it's okay just to take it easy on this first one, get the body used to the movements. But now we move on to road reps tomorrow, my first running session. So I'll see you guys there. Ta-ta. Day two of week two down the park for an interval session. So we're today we're doing four 800 meters for time with a one-to-one -one ratio of rest. So however long it takes me to run 800 meters, that is how long I am resting. And then we finish it off with a lovely uh, 10, 50 meter sprints. So all it's gonna be, this is gonna, I reckon a disgusting session. The hammy, oh, I'll tell you what, the gluteys are killing from Monday's uh, leg session. I didn't even do that much on them, to be honest, with the, the lunges, because obviously I stopped because of the, I could feel one of them being slightly pulled. Uh, but yeah, wrecking today. So this will be an interesting one, but let's just get on it. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. 
Uh. One down. Put the time here. Lap one. Rest up. That's lap two. Three, two, one. Let's go, 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 go. Oh. 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 Time. Three minutes thirty six. Two, one, let's go. Oh, pace is dropping. 343. I'm not surprised it's dropping. I'm fucked. One more to go. Let's have him, baby. Final one. Let's be having you. Go, 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 go. Oh. oh, 348, fourth one done, rest up, and now one, two, 50 minute sprints. Oh, my lord, finished the 50 minute sprints, that was absolutely disgusting, again it was a one to one rest, so like, it took me 15 seconds on that, 14 seconds, 14 seconds rest, go again, it wasn't 10, it was 8 of them. Oh, that was horrible, but it's good to be opening the lungs up and you, when it's horrible, you know it's working. Day three of week two, it's Wednesday and we're doing the upper body session, the first one. Now I know I said in previous videos that I was postponing the upper body, but I got some advice in the comment section below, which I'm always looking out for guys. If you've got some advice for me, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Well, I had a comment from a guy called Chaz, who actually runs a great uh, men's health uh, fitness and well-being um, initiative in Barry, South Wales, and he said that I've rested my tendonitis enough in the mm -hmm. elbows. He said I should start introducing some light weights or go through the movements. So that's what I'm doing today. So although it is the first session of the upper body, I'm not going to be pushing myself uh, to the absolute limits. I'm not going to be doing the um, prescribed weights. I'm just going to be going through the motions with a bit of light weight, and as long as I'm not feeling any pain, I will continue. So without further ado. Here's the upper body session. Good morning, you lovely lot. It is 6 a.m. again, let's see. 6 a.m. again in the morning, getting up, getting early to get my session in before the kids get up uh, and then cause absolute chaos. So today is double session day. So not one, but two sessions to do today. Um, in the morning, we've got a strength session, um, full body. Now, if I'm doing well for time, I can it's advised that you do the second session straight away. However, if I am running out of time and I don't, I can't fit it in within this hour, then I can do the second session, which is a pre-fatigue session, which as the name suggests, is about pre-fatiguing the legs before tomorrow's long distance run to simulate being in those deep, deep miles uh, of the cock and ball session. Um, I can move that session if I haven't got time today to my lunch break. So let's get it on. We also have a special guest in the gym this morning. Say hello to Mrs. Rosamond. There she is. She's come to join me in the gym. 
Please excuse any squeals and screams during the session now. That's just me trying to uh, hit, hit my target reps. <laughs> Too much pain on them bicep curls. Too much pain with the elbows on the tendonitis, so I'm going to leave bicep curls. Okay, it's the afternoon. I've popped home on my lunch break to do the pre fatigue session before my long distance run tomorrow. Um, so we've got four rounds of 100 lunges. What is it? 100 meter sled push and then a 100 meter run. And I do that four times, no break. However, I do not have a sled. I don't have a sled here. So apparently they've recommended that I just go on the treadmill with it off or on really low and push the, what would you call that? The tread with your feet. And that's gonna sort of simulate a sled push. So without further ado, let's get on it. Ah! Crikey Moses, one hell of a preconditioner. Um, now I'm gonna to top that off with a little 20 minute uh, zone two run now. And I'll see you bright and early in the morning for our big long distance run session. See you later. Good morning, everyone. I'm up at 6 a.m. again, and this time I'm fitting in a nice low intensity, steady state cardio session for two and a half hours. These early mornings are starting to break me. <laughs> it's, um, so that's like, the, you know, the whole week, six days in a row, up at half five, get ready to train for six, and it is starting to get on top of me a bit, but is it? Mostly because of sleep. I had a bit of a poor sleep last night. Cause, you know when you just can't switch off? Just in bed. Um, but hey ho, that's what that's what I've signed up for. Um, I've got a rest day tomorrow. And there I will take the opportunity to get a full nice sleep. And hopefully a nice little lie in bed. Um, so today's session, two and a half hours. It's 20 minutes warm up in my zone two. Then we move up to for an hour and 40, hour and 50 minutes of low zone three. So that's what we're, when we're talking about the threshold, the threshold is obviously between the zones, between zone two and zone three. So by training on that threshold, you can actually increase your fitness of those zones. I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm on about. I'm not a coach, I don't know, but that's my basic understanding of heart rate training. Now, as much as I love these uh, low zone runs, because they, they are nice and easy. It is at a conversational pace. They're bloody long. You know, two and a half hours, and these are only going to increase from here as well. We're going to get up to three, four, five, six hour runs, you know? So, ah, wish me luck. <laughs> so that's my full week of training done. Um, all in all, it's, it's tough. Uh, the early mornings are starting to sort of get to me. The body is getting used to the movements. There's aches, there's pains, there's doms in the muscles. Uh, the long run was long. Two and a half hours is a long bloody time to be on your feet and that's only going to get more. We ramp it up again next week. It increases in it with intensity again next week. So join me next week for my third week of training. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. And if you wanna watch next week's episode already, you can click here. But if you're a bit too early, then this will be a link to my podcast where we interview people who have overcome the most intimidating of challenges in running, adventure, and life. I will see you next week.